Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Bella. I love all things design and DIY. Today I have a bit of a short and sweet antique haul for you. Some of these things are just too adorable not to share. I've been having really good luck with thrifted antiques recently and so I've accumulated a few things. I haven't done a thrifted home decor haul in quite some time, like maybe in a year, because usually I just pick up home decor kind of here and there. But lately, I don't know what it is. I've just been like feeling very nesty and I just want all the little antiques. So let's get into it. I think you're really gonna like some of these pieces. One thing I will say, just to get ahead of it, I did take the prices off of a few of these things. Actually, I think most of these things. So I don't know if I'll be able to have the prices for a lot of them. I'll try my best to remember though. So starting off at the first thrift store that I purchased things from here, I got this adorable, this was one of those things that I just, as soon as I saw it, knew immediately that it was coming home with me. I did take the price off of this, but I'm almost positive it was $4. It's this little, like, I think it's a crumb sweeper. So like on your cutting board, you sweep the crumbs onto it. I think I'm gonna use this as a tiny dustpan for my bathroom and maybe attach like a ribbon to it or something so that it can hang up and just look adorable. How I incentivize myself to clean is by buying really cute cleaning accessories. And so how could I not wanna just sweep the dust off of any surface into this? Is that the most effective way to clean? Absolutely not, but I just couldn't say no to an adorable cleaning accessory. And one day when I have my own kitchen, I will use this for crumbs. The next thing I got was also another immediately, yes, you're coming home with me, and it is a book. I always, always keep my eyes open in the gardening and home section of books at Value Village. And this one caught my eye because of the beautiful cover of these daisies. And so I was like, what is that? And then I saw the spine, which says a book of the British countryside. So immediately I knew I wanted to buy it without even flipping through it. But just look at how cute this book is. It has all of these adorable little illustrations. It's basically like an alphabetized kind of like field guide, but it's just so beautiful of all of the things that you find in the British countryside. It has all sorts of like identifying charts for wildflowers and different edibles that you can forage. I do not live in the British countryside. I live in Southern Ontario, but a lot of the species are pretty similar. So I think I can still make use of this with some of the things that are around me. Regardless, it's just a gorgeous book to sit down and flip through. So I'm so happy I found that. And I don't have the price for this one, but I think it was probably $6 because usually the books at Value Village are like $5.99. So I don't see it being more than that. So that was a really, really great find. Oh, look how cute that's gonna look on this bookshelf when it's done. The next place I went was a little consignment shop. And wow, did I find two adorable things actually not adorable like stunning the very first thing that i saw and by the way these prices were amazing i think this thing i'm about to show you was 12 dollars. it's this stunning wall mounted like candle sconce oh my gosh it is so gorgeous it's so heavy solid brass solid brass Oh, why am I acting like I know it's solid brass? I am such a sucker for unfinished brass. This absolutely had to come home with me. And the fact that it was $12 was a no brainer. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. I would love the look of it beside my bed, but I do have two wall mounted lights, like sconce, but plug-in sconce lights on either side of my bed. So then anytime I see something like this, I just think that's gonna be too many sconces. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but wherever it goes will be a place of honor 
because I love this. And then this next thing didn't have a price, but I brought it up to the lady at the counter and she gave it to me for $2. And it's this, again, brass little candle snuffer. I've been looking for one of these for quite a while now, but I've wanted it to be the perfect one. And I absolutely love this like twisted detail in metals. I don't know why I just have a little bit of an affinity for it. I think it's so pretty and I love specifically the shape of this. I really like this one as compared to a lot of other antique ones I've seen because it doesn't have a lot going on. It's really simple and a little bit more like primitive looking and not too ornate, which I kind of like. And two dollars, like so good. The next two things were from a different value village. The first is this really gorgeous crystal bud vase with a silver base. I, this doesn't have any markings on it, but oh my gosh, I just realized too, the crystal on the top, you probably can't tell, but it has like a cut scalloped detail. I just noticed that. Did I just dump water? Yes, I did. This was either three or four dollars. I know it was in the realm of like, I don't even have to think about that. I'm getting it. I don't have a lot of bud vases like this. And at this time of year, when there's so many flowers coming out of the garden, this is perfect for just like that one show-stopping bloom. I like little vases like this so I can put them on my sink in my bathroom and just have one little sprig of something, even if it's a bit of greenery. So I was really happy to find this. The combination of cut crystal and silver, like there couldn't be anything more appealing to me. I have been on the lookout for antique lamps recently. What I really want is a little like milk glass hobnail lamp. I feel like I used to have one of those as a little kid. Even if I didn't, I think they were just around. Either my mom had them or my grandma. There's something about them that's very nostalgic to me and I'm looking for one for my bedside table right now. This is not that, but it is a similar shape to the kind that I want, but it's in copper. So what I want is a little milk glass one that has this sort of um, like dish shape as the base. This will do for now. This still is the price on, this was $5.99. I should really take that off so it doesn't mark the copper. Okay, good. Sometimes these stickers like fully mess up the finish of the metal. I'm not too sure what I wanna do with this yet. This is very unlike me, but I'm kind of liking leaning a little bit more into intentional basic choices in a space that is very eclectic. Just having little spots of like rust for your eyes. So I'm almost picturing just like a small, um, like off-white canvas sort of lampshade for this. However, I do also have this lampshade, which is this really fun, like tiny pleated, tiny pleats, not tiny lampshade, tiny pleated mustard lampshade that I got at my fabric store, which is also like a factory end store. So this was there and it was $3. And it does have this type of like top that just goes over the bulb. I don't know what you call that but that is what I need for this lamp. Considering this, and I also purchased this really pretty like olive green rickrack. It's a really big rickrack, which I think is so fun. I was gonna do that as the finish on the bottom of this lampshade because how cute is that? This gives me the vibes of Matilda Goad, who's an interior designer, I think but she just has the cutest homewares. I don't know if she actually has anything like that, but for some reason that like scalloped bottom is just giving me those vibes. And I really love that. I don't have the budget for it, so that's my version of it. I'm not sure if this is gonna be too oversized. Maybe not. I mean, it's very big, so that might look kind of silly. So I might need to find a smaller shade for this. So that is all the items that I've picked up recently. I hope you enjoyed this little short thrift haul. I know it wasn't the longest, but I really love like equally everything that I got. So I just couldn't not share them with you. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration and I hope that you have good thrifting luck coming up. I am bestowing all of the good 
thrifting vibes onto you. You can give this video a like down below if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one and I'll see you back here next time.